a sec. Too much in the way. Yo, 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 what's up, everyone? Titanium Taco here today. Going to build the final season 14 or the island, the final island set. Without further ado, gonna just open it up right now. How y'all doing? Happy Easter, by the way. It is Easter today. No, I have not reacted to season 15. All right, let's do this. Let us get this bread. Got the box. Got the mic. Got the computer. Happy Easter, guys. Happy Easter. Hope y'all are having a wonderful Easter. I know I am. So I'm here today to stream. I'm streaming. Okay, okay, no one, I swear to God. All right, let's do this. Can I? There we go. There we go. Don't freaking ask me right now. Anyways, episode, not episode, frick, bag one. We're gonna do bag one. Yeah, okay, okay. Oh, uh, okay. Bag number one, we're gonna build Kai's Catamaran first. See how that goes for us. Hello everyone, hello, welcome to the stream. Look at that, ooh la la. Look at all those beautiful pieces. Ugh. Should make done Lego eggs with the Lego surprise? You want Lego to make Lego eggs? Hey, no worries, you guys. No guys, no guys, no worries, guys. Enjoy your egg hunt. Today I'm building the catamaran set. And yeah, so I think we're gonna build the figures first, apparently. So we build J, we plop them together like so. I just realized the camera's really far away, so I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to show you guys the figures close up, but yeah. Um, can you not read the pinned comment? Thank you. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? But yeah, let's see. Let's try the... Let's try it. Uh, can you see that? Camera's too far. Uh. Anyways. What the heck? Oh, that's actually important. Maybe I should bring the camera closer. Hold up. I have a solution. Oh. Bring this closer. And then zoom out. No, zoom out. Zoom in. Hold up. I totally got this, guys. I got this. Give me a sec. Right? Like so? that work hopefully question mark let's do this guys ah ah see now the camera's closer to me as well frick yeah so see i can now show you the figure up close is it focusing focus i hope it focused there we go anyways oh today's your birthday happy birthday any future videos planned? I do have future videos planned. I have like six six videos planned. Something like that. Something like that. I have videos. Uh, point is, yes, I do have videos planned. Can you make more, make Pokemon videos? I am, actually. Just not on this channel. So if you want Pokemon content, you're not going to find it here anymore. 
Yeah. Anyways, nice. Building Kai's Catamaran. Finally getting to the juicy stuff. The juicy part of the build. Um. Yeah, yeah, I do have a Pokemon channel. It's also my big brother's birthday. Hey, well, happy birthday to your big brother. May he get older. <laughs> yeah, point, yeah, yeah, I mean, I don't know. My grandpa's birthday was yesterday, too. That was pretty dope. Pretty dope. Pretty dope. Pretty dope. Do you like... Oh, Bakugans? For a second, I was like, what is Bakugans? I can't read sometimes, if you guys didn't know. But, yes, I have... I No, I've never had Bakugans. I've had a friend who has who has had Bakugans, but I personally have never had Bakugans. Turning 24. Damn, you're older than me then. What? What? I'm turning 20 this year. You're out here turning 24? I'm jealous. Not really, though. I'd rather de-age versus age, I guess, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? No, 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 no. We don't give we don't give scores out of ten. My new scoring system are shurikens, and the shurikens are five shurikens. So, if I were to give the island out of five shurikens a score of out of five shurikens, I'd give it a three. Three shurikens. The island gets three shurikens from me. Okay. None of this out of ten. Out of five? No, it's out of five shurikens. Specifically, it has to be specifically shurikens. Screw anything else that isn't shurikens. I'm just saying. That's just how I roll now. Ninja roll. Roll, ninja, ninja roll. Ooh, yay. I got to go. Hey, no worries, no worries. What's your favorite season 14 set? Um, It might be this one, actually. Once I finish building it, I might be able to give you an answer. Because as of right now, I kind of don't have a favorite one. They're all pretty good. Yo, this set is awesome. Yeah, it is pretty awesome. Well, I mean, I, I wouldn't know if it's awesome or not. Because I haven't finished building it yet. But hopefully, once I'm done building it, I will have an answer. Because I realized, right? I, I, I do videos where I not react, but basically talk about the whatchamacallit the sets like the it's the like the official image sets and then what am i saying uh and so i thought since i'm no longer oh wait is it lagging already oh no 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 no, 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 no. Wait, but my stream is in excellent health. Ah, screw that. I'm going to have to watch the stream on my phone. Gosh darn it. When Mac decides to fail you. All right, there we go. Uh, okay, see, see, uh, we'll do this first. I see you have a lot of Legos tacos. You are cool. Thank you. What are your favorite seasons from Ninjago? season three and season eight but point is what i was trying to say since i'm no longer doing set reviews i decided to still like not necessarily do a set review but an overall final thoughts on the sets overall just to like not give closure but to give final thoughts because i give my initial thoughts when i see these set images but i feel like there needs to be at least a video where i give my final thoughts in terms of the sets just so you guys like know kind of where i stand after the fact when i own the sets if that makes any sense does that make sense hopefully that makes sense you're my fav far favorite youtuber oh well thank you when you got the when you get the fire temple was it used and was it from bricklink it was used and it was actually from ebay so yeah, I got my set from, yeah, I got it from eBay. Cause from Bricklink, I was gonna get it from Bricklink, but I know I realized that Bricklink had a, like a lot of the sellers that sell it pretty cheap had it for like, they had it, 
what's the word what's the word i'm looking for they had a lot of missing parts or like a lot of missing figures and i was like i kind of want this full complete set and i kind of can't find the piece right now so isn't that lovely why does this happen to me all the time oh that's because it's blue i'm smart do you have any favorite themes other than the ninja go and oh like lego themes uh why did i say ninja go uh, uh lego no not really i mean i used not necessarily used to i still kind of do i like the scooby-doo theme but obviously that's i guess i guess you could say that doesn't really count either but i don't know i just like things like sonic i i hear they're making a sonic set so i'm kind of looking forward to that but in terms of like actual running themes there there really isn't any themes that i really like so not really no uh ba -ba -ba -ba. do you have any favorite oh wait are, how many ninjas are there in this set there is a total of three ninjas i think it's kai jay and then zane and yeah kai jay and zane i like lego ninjago and lego star wars lego star wars is pretty dope not gonna lie, but it's, eh, it's whatever for me and when you get the Temple of Light, was the Samukai minifigure in a pretty good condition? Like, I got my Samukai from a friend, and some of the black color turned white, if that makes sense. Um, here, let me see. I could pull out my Samukai figure. And I'm just, like, stepping over a lot of things. Great. That's actually really important. Oh, uh, yeah, let me check. Let me check really quick. Uh, I have it over here. I am just dropping things now. Okay. Well, hopefully you guys didn't see that. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess my Samukai is in pretty good condition. What's up, guys? What's up, everyone? What's popping? Yo, I just, like, massacred a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna have to fix that later. So this is already, like, a good start to the catamaran. I can feel it. It looks pretty dope. Looks pretty dope. Dope a derp. Let me attach this piece in here. So yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm, I think my Samukai figure came out pretty good, pretty all right. Um, honestly, if it didn't come out that great, I would have been maybe I would have maybe been upset. I'm not gonna lie. But at the same time, what would I what would I expect if it's a used set? The bounty's always getting destroyed. That is true. That is true. The bounty always does get destroyed, unfortunately. But it is what it is, I guess. The bounty just needs to be destroyed. My 29 brother has seen all your videos. Interesting. Well, does he like them? Because someone could watch all your videos and think you're trash. And then make a video on you about why Titanium Taco is trash or titanium taco exposed question or yeah stuff like i don't know i don't know what i'm saying now i wonder if they made a legacy samukai yo i wish they would make a legacy samukai they really need to step up the game in terms of villain legacy and once again i can't find a piece i can't find a piece guys i don't oh wait i already put the piece on why am i so why am I so dumb? I'm so dumb. So dumb. So dumb. I can't find pieces when they're right in front of my face. He likes them. That's good. That's good. That's good. I'm glad he likes them. I'm glad you like them. I'm glad, I'm glad anybody likes my videos. See? Because some people don't like my videos. And you know what? That's okay. Not everyone has to like my videos. But everyone has no, I don't know. When you can't find a piece, but it's in your hand. Legit, not even in my hand. It was already placed the piece where it's supposed to go. So I, I'm here trying to find the piece, but the piece was already on where it's supposed to go. So I'm just not paying attention. <laughs> oh my gosh. Maybe I'm just not smart. Maybe that's just what it is. That's all it is. I'm just not smart. I'm not a smart guy. 
Uh, okay, we first sticker applied. I don't know where I left my sticker sheet. Oh, it's right here. I was gonna freak out for a second. I was like, whoa, my sticker sheet, where'd it go? Okay. Okay, so there's one thing I don't like about this set already is that A, it's got a whole bunch of freaking stickers, dude. I don't want to do stickers. This is too many. No, for real, this is actually so many stickers, dude. What the heck? What the heck? How many Oni packs did you buy? Oh, let's see. I bought. Um, 10. Hold up. I can count for you. Uh, eight, 16. Like 22 packs? Holy Jesus, I bought like 22? <laughs> I didn't realize how many I actually bought until I counted them. I think I did buy like, I think I ended up buying like 22 of them. Oops. Was I not supposed to do that? Stickers are the worst, honestly. Honestly. I think I did end up buying 22. I feel like I did, but at the same time I didn't. 13. That sounds about right though. I just counted how many. Well, I mean, I guess if you count the one I have sealed, 23. Cause I decided to keep one sealed. I am a true, well, I wouldn't say I'm a true army builder, but I do want to army build. I like army building. It's fun. Fun, fun times. And then when Lego prohibits me from army building, that's when I get upset. I'm like, Lego, come on. Allow me to buy villains or people from Bricks and Pieces. <laughs> ah! Uh, Discord calls? Probably not. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want anything to do with Discord. Not for now. Discord is just not it bro there have been times where i'm like you know what let's do discord again i'll do discord i have i have the server but um no nah, no nah. i don't know sometimes sometimes in the mood for discord sometimes i'm not it really kind of just depends on the mood whether i or whether or not i want to actually actively let my server live I'm working on an army of Kai's. Hey, that's good. That's good. What's the best year in Ninjago in your opinion? I would say 2018, 2019, 2020, and maybe even 2021 have been good years. Oh gosh. A good year for Ninjago. That's actually a tough one. Um, I'd have to say... What would be a good year for Ninjago? That's actually a good question. Um... I would personally say what was 2016 I actually here's the thing I don't remember the, the problem is I, is I don't remember Ninjago like by years per se kind of just remember them by season I don't even like I for me like the movie either came out 2016 or 2017 I don't know like what exactly what what year exactly things came out so I'd probably be the worst person to ask about what year I think Ninjago is good. Like, what was the best year? So, probably not the best person to ask, but I don't know. I don't know. Lego should make more prints than stickers. The best year of Ninjago is 2011 because that's when everything started. I can see that. I'm planning on making a League of Zane. Hey, there you go, League of Zane. Definitely be down to build my own League of Zane. Hey, greetings from Poland. Well, hello, fellow person from Poland. 2016 is Skybound. Okay, okay. Then what the heck is 2017? Because then they departed in Hands of Time. Was that all set? No, because legit the movie took up an entire year. We only got see well, one season and it was oddly spaced out through. Is that that was rebooted, right? 2014 sounds about right I'm pretty sure have you seen that bricks and pieces has kid lloyd's hair piece available i do and i bought a lot of them <laughs> actually I already bought them i don't know actually i don't know one of my pieces might have been canceled because lego sent me or like lego was like um contact guess or customer service 
because one of your pieces got isn't gonna be delivered so I'm just like bruh oh my god for once can I just have a smooth transaction with bricks and pieces like like come on give me this wait what the heck am I building something wrong oh I am building wrong were you more excited about season 13 or season 14 that's a good question was i excited i might have been more excited for season 13 if i'm being honest i don't know excitement levels have been i wouldn't say dropping but i don't know i am getting older i'm becoming an old man so my interest in lego might be changing but I think it's too soon to say that I don't know I fluctuate sometimes what was the season that disappointed you the most oh okay so, so see I think the season that disappointed me the most I might actually have an answer to that. the season that disappointed me the most that's actually Dang it, why? Y'all ask some really good questions, and I'm here, like, stumped, like, uh, yeah, um, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, hey, no worries, no worries. So, the, the season that disappointed me the most was probably... I'll probably say Prime Empire. Hey, what up, Fireblaze? What up, what up? How you doing? <laughs> I, I think Prime Empire disappointed me the most, because... I felt like there was a lot of great potential in Prime Empire, but there was just like the, I don't know. I feel personally season 11 was better executed, even though I think Prime Empire had better pacing, but at the same time, Prime Empire just decided to yeet out like, a, I think a couple of essential episodes. So I'm not too sure, but yeah, I don't know. I think Prime Empire is the season that disappointed me the most. But that's not to say that like, damn, I had super high expectations for Prime Empire. It's more like I have not necessarily low expectations, but I do have my expectations like tamed. So I just don't, you know, expect a whole lot out of every season. But even if my expectations are low and then like somehow the season doesn't, deliver not necessarily my exact expectations but something like similar to my expectations if that makes sense i like i'll be like well damn that was kind of eh in a sense if that makes sense i don't know if i'm making any sense making sense is hard <laughs> actually trying to explain things is hard all right number 12 sticker number 12 sticker number 12 what season shocked me the most? I'm going to be honest. Season 3 shocked me the most. Maybe because it was the age. Like the age I was. But like the fact that the ninja went into space. The fact that Zane died. The fact that the overlord was back. You know. All that was like bang, 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 bang. Like shocker after shocker after shocker. I was like, whoa, what the heck? The overlord's alive? Whoa, what the heck? Pythor's alive? Yo, the fact that like freaking Pythor dude like. Look, I was just a little kid at that point. Obviously, like, if older people would have been like, oh, yeah, I saw Pythor, like, coming a mile away. But I was a youngin', okay? I was like, well, shoo, Pythor's alive still? What the heck? That was that's, that, that shocked me. And then the fact that they had to go into space with the golden weapons, that also shocked me. I was like, well, damn, the golden weapons, that's still a thing? And then Zane's death, I was like, no! So I think, I think season three had, like, the best shocker moments in terms of, like, it really brought you back into the show and um obviously yeah it does have his it does has its flaws obviously i'm never gonna obviously i'm not blinded by my season three love but i mean let's be honest it, it was pretty shocker i mean cole's cole turning into a ghost was also pretty shocker but i think that's just one moment from season 15 that really was a shocker like something i didn't think they'd pull off but they did uh, t how many times did you get Rick rolled on April Fools? I got Rick rolled a couple times, just a couple times. Every everybody watching sub, he's a good YouTuber. 
2018 shocked me the most because the ninja lost, which I love. That is true. That was also a big shocker. The fact that season eight ended like that, that I will say was a pretty good shocker as well. But I feel like, again, it's like a season five situation where it was just like one big shocker versus I think season three had like multiple like, well, damn, well, damn, this is happening now. This is happening now. This is happening. Oh, well, I guess Harumi's back. Okay, never mind. Sons of Garna may have had a, a couple good shockers then because I forgot about Harumi's like um, backstory. Like the way they connected the Great Devourer and then Harumi's backstory was actually pretty good. So the fact that like i don't know it's, that's just cool in my opinion my favorite episode of season five was probably the last two episodes what's better season three lego overlord or legacy overlord i think season three overlord just got jungle chopper bike hey let's go let's go have you gotten all the sets yet by the way red warrior i'm curious season three has a lot of surprise yeah see that's what i'm saying season three does have a lot of surprises and i mean Honestly, you could disagree with me. That's fine. I'm not going to be like, no, Wolf, you're wrong. It does have a lot of surprises. Uh, I honestly don't care. I mean, I'm here to just enjoy stuff. The fact that we claim things to be overrated, it, it just sucks. Because honestly, how can you actually define something to be overrated? Like, enough people... Well, I, don't, that's the, I never like... The, I don't know. I use the word overrated, but at the same time, it's like, what really constitutes as overrated? How do you define overrated? Like, how does that, how do you define that? That's like a really weird thing to say. Like, this is overrated, right? But at the same time, it's like, how do you know for a fact this thing is overrated? You don't. Like, I don't, I don't know. I just tend to not discuss or try not to discuss things like that. It's just not worth it. I love how much Pythor, him being alive, makes so much sense because Wu and him were eaten at the same time and only Wu survived. Exactly. I think I think that makes perfect sense. The fact that Pythor is back in season three is just make like you said, just makes perfect sense because like it just wouldn't make sense for Wu to be the only one who survived. And then just like Pythor because he was a villain, just dead. So the fact that they had that like potential with Pythor and the fact they actually rolled, like went with it is really good, I think. And I'm really happy they ended up doing what they did with Pythor. Sticker number 15. I only have one set at the moment because I was getting marbles. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Oh, Kai and Zane. Okay, okay. I know you said not though, but I will say it's looking really good so far. It could even be on par with Sons of Garmin Hunted IMO, and I put those two seasons on a pedestal. Okay. Okay, okay. I'll take your word. Wait, did I put the wrong sticker on? It said number 15. Oh, there's two number 15s. What the heck? Why are you tripping me out, bruh? Okay. I love season three because of Zane. Yo, honestly, same. <laughs> same, bro. Ah. All right, I got this, I got this. Just watch this. I don't know, I have a lot of videos to record after this, so we'll see what I do today. What I upload today. Maybe I won't upload today, question mark. Guess you've seen the slow-mo walking scene on my story, sorry. I did? Oh, I, 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 no, don't worry. I will see like, I'll see the image or not the image, but I'll see like the first second and then like immediately skip it. So you good, you good. I don't, I don't, I don't stay around for spoilers, but I, I have seen people like reposting that a lot. So, but you good. And season four was like a continuation of season three. Honestly, no, season three, season four, season five and season six were just back to back continuations. Season 7 as well. Mm, yeah, I guess season 7 as well. But not as much. I don't know. I don't know. And I guess Sons of Garmin was also a continuation. But once it like really started to fall. I don't know. What am I saying now? What am I saying? How is this? this how does Lego want me to do this? Okay. We want this right here. Right? Lego. 
be clear with your instructions. I would honestly agree that, that they are like a trilogy. Just how like the Oni trilogy, trilogy, just like the Oni trilogy exists, I think we I could safely say that that counts as a trilogy. How am I? I'm doing all right actually. I'm doing pretty well. How are you? How are you, fellow viewer? Como esta? 10K coming up. Yo, 10K is coming up, and I'm kind of excited. It's still a ways to go, but honestly, it's coming. It's coming. It's a coming. It's a coming. When's it coming? I don't know. But it's coming. It's coming. Am I friends with Albrick Studios? Friends is a interesting word i don't know i don't look here's the thing i don't like to hate on anybody i really don't i like giving people the benefit of the doubt but i don't know no comment i have no comment i'm friends with a lot of people and then i'm friends with no people i'm trying to say i don't have i don't have the energy to answer that question <laughs> what's your thoughts on season five i think season five was pretty good pretty good Where's the monkey kid reactions? You know what? I think I lost the link you sent me to the monkey kid reactions. But all in good time, my friend. All in good time. I gotta just take... Let, let me let me get through season 15 reactions and then I'll start reacting to other stuff. Because I, I was... Maybe... Because I was thinking... Well, yeah, I think I'll do it between season 15 and season 16. Only because we're going to have a heck of dry season after season 15. So... Uh, I'll react to that stuff after season 15. Just so that you guys have reactions to watch, I guess. So, yes. Monkey Kid Reactions coming soon to a YouTube channel near you. <laughs> I wonder if Ninjago Rider ever wanted to kill a main ninja, but they can't do that because it's a kid's show in the end of the day. Honestly, they should go for it. No balls. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But honestly, I'd be 100% down to kill off a main character. So long as it isn't Zane. If it's not Zane, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Yo, the day... No, that will be the biggest shocker of all Ninjago. If they end up actually pulling it off, like they're like, you know what, let's kill off this main character. I will legitimately be like, well, damn. That, that right there is the biggest shocker. In all of Ninjago history, because you can't get any like more shocked than them actually going through a main character's death. So I think that would be pretty amazing, or not amazing, but you get what I mean. <laughs> Damage Mavis and Shmurda say one if you know what I'm talking about. A I know exactly what you're talking about. I know exactly those names. I won, <laughs> so I guess yeah, I do know. Uh, and Ninja have a lot of missing endings from other seasons. Have fun building the great set. Keep up the great work. Why, thank you. Thank you. I am having fun, I guess, if that is the correct response. Hi, Taco. I'm here. What's up? What's up? Uh, what's your favorite YouTuber you can't pick you? Obviously. Uh, no, honestly, I'm not my favorite YouTuber anyways. Screw this guy. Um, but no, I have a few favorites. I don't know if I should say some of them, though, because they're not really... PG. <laughs> some of them aren't PG. So, um, I will not say some of them, but, um, I don't know. That's actually, that's something I've been debating, though, recently, in terms of, like, my channel, not, not my channel, but, like, in terms of my censorship, and how much of myself do I want to censor? Because, I mean, there's something you guys don't know about me, is that I actually kind of <laughs> curse a lot. Not a lot, a lot, but I, I do curse. And, uh, I don't know. Not necessarily, like, I don't want to be, like, 100% myself on the channel. But, like, I do kind I guess what I'm trying to say is I want to make my channel more PG-13 as opposed to PG. I have let a couple times, like, slip where I do, like, curse or something. But I kind of I kind of want to be, like, a... I don't, here's another thing. I don't like labeling channels as in terms of like, oh, well, this channel's like PG or this channel's like PG-13 or this channel's rated R or, or stuff like that. 
But at the same time, it's more like, well, I do want to be more mature, but not, no, well, not, what do I mean? No, okay, well, actually, no. Saying curse words isn't really mature, but um, how do I say this? I want to be more, frick, I don't know how to explain it, dang it. <laughs> ah, point, I, I, don't, I don't know, I'm, I don't know what I'm saying anymore but point is i do want to be more inappropriate question mark what is the correct word <laughs> oh my god <laughs> why is it so hard i don't know what's your favorite main villain like garment on i guess this might might be a po unpopular opinion but i think lloyd's story arc was concluded at the end of season 10 so i think if they would end up killing someone they should kill lloyd i mean maybe yes and no but you got to take into consideration that uh the overlord is still out there confirmed or not confirmed whatever you you want to think about that but like i feel like it's not concluded quite yet i've come across the problem i want to get the new monkey kit set white dragon horse jet or keeper's village man just get the keeper's village man monkey kids should not be your priority right now just saying i'm just saying I think Ninjago is a better priority as opposed to Monkey Kid. More grown up. I guess more grown up. Yeah, I guess. But I mean, at the same time, like, if you guys, you know, stick around long enough, then kind of I could grow up essentially. Like, I guess it's more like the promise that the writers wanted to make where, like, Ninjago was going to be, like, more grown up. It's growing up with his audience. So I guess in the sense that I could also grow up with my audience, even though I'm already grown up, I guess. I don't know. But like, I guess my content can evolve and morph over time. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Because, I mean, here's the problem. I'm into anime. I'm, like, really into anime. Not, like, in the terms of, like, oh, ha, huh, this guy watches anime, like, every... Or, like, a few other Ninjago YouTubers. I watch anime. I have waifus and stuff. Is one, what am I saying? I'm throwing myself under the bus now. Oh my god. Point is, I don't, I'm gonna stop talking about this. All right, we don't we don't need to. Anyways, Lloyd's arc with Harumi was touched on in season 11, 12, and 13. I think they need to focus on the master and training stuff. Yes, I do. That's what I'm saying. Like he hasn't become. I don't think he's become a fully a master yet, or at least since sons of garment on he was a master but at the same time they kind of like just dropped that like he's no longer considered a master anymore by the rest of the, the team master i don't know i feel like they do need to readdress the whole master lloyd thing because now that Wu's back in the scene it's kind of like what the chicken is the best character i mean i uh, agree to disagree <laughs> Yes, I mean, I wouldn't say the chicken is the best character. I mean, he's a character, yes, but I wouldn't say the best. Anyways, Taco, I have one question. Will you still be into Lego, and will you still create content after you start a family? Uh, I would hope so. I mean, Lego, Lego would kind of be like my legacy, in a sense, where my child will be forced to like Lego. No, they won't. I mean, I'll try to get them into Lego, but whether or not they all actually like it is a different question. But I'm going to watch season 15. All right. Good luck with that. Uh, well, in Sense of Run, he was just temporarily a master. Wu was gone at the time. It makes sense. He's back to being the ninja leader. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. But it's like like I said, like or like you said, or like someone said. I don't even know anymore. It, it needs to be addressed again. It just, it just has to. They can't just like leave it at that. Because he was a master in training. And then all of a sudden... Well, he's no longer a master in training. Like, what's up with that, bruh? Where's his where's his mastery training? Master training. I don't know. I'm t I'm tired. <laughs> you guys can't tell I'm actually kind of tired as well. I'm brain dead right now. But we must continue on. Continue forward. I mean, the only reason why Lloyd became master was because Wu was gone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chicken has lightning powers. Yeah, like. The fact that Kai pointed out that, like, Lightning's no longer Jay's, only Jay's thing, like, why didn't he say that, like, when the freaking chicken was around, bro? That, that chicken was a freaking monster. <laughs> like, a lightning monster. 
What is your favorite set from the Island Wave? Uh, like I said, I, 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 I kind of answered that earlier. I kind of don't have one right now, only because I don't have all the sets fully built yet. But I might be able to give you an answer after this. I guess as of right now, as it stands, actually the Jungle Chopper Bike might be my favorite one. I don't know why. The suspension, the suspension always gets me on LEGO sets, dude. I freaking love suspension on LEGO sets. It's so fun. How would you guys rank Wild Brain and Jago so far? I would say season 11, 13, 14, 12. I think season 15 could stop, top season 11. Oh, but, but, but I think I would put season 13 first. Season 14. Season 11 and then season 12. I'm going to bring Link order a while ago and the seller has two of the original Wu torsos so I added it to my cart and will make Kid Wu and Garmin custom so I'm happy. That is actually pretty smart. I've been wanting to do that custom myself but I've been too lazy to go on Brick, Brick Link. Uh, Brick Link is just too much sometimes. So I don't know when the next bounty update's coming up because if I don't go on Bricklink, I probably won't be looking at parts for the bounty. So that's just that. <laughs> so we'll see, we'll see. So you're saying that the chicken be like bok bok, bok bok, bok, bok bok. Yeah, pretty much. Season 11 is overrated, IMO. Overrated, overhated. Oh, I thought you said overrated. I was like, wait, what? Yeah, it is overhated. I do personally think season 11 is overhated, though. I agree. I agree. I agree with you guys. Or with you. Do you wish Moro came back in Day of the Departed? Moro did come back in Day of the Departed. What are you talking about? Yo, but did you guys see that post? Apparently, Moro's voice actor, right, is recording lines for something question mark what it could it be could it be moro's return Wait, how does that make sense how can moro return another day of, oh what if they do another day of the departed what if way of the departed comes to fruition how cool would that be don't tell me oh, okay can i make custom minifigs nah i can't make custom minifigs i suck at making anything custom Maybe more Moro flashbacks. I could see Moro flashbacks working, but at the same time, like, what is the reason to have a Moro flashback? Like, why would Wu feel the need to have a Moro flashback? I don't know. They have Departed versus the Island. The Island, 100%. I'm going to personally say I like the Island better. I'm not going to lie. Day of the Departed was just... For me, it was more of a... I don't know. I felt more disappointed with Day of the Departed as opposed to the island, I guess is what I'm trying to say. You can make custom what I do make custom weapons, but at the same time, like, I don't... Custom weapons only come when I feel like they need to be made. Like, if I don't... If I feel the need to be like, I, I don't like how LEGO's doing this, I'm going to make my own custom weapons. I'll make custom weapons. But if I'm like, all right, Lego, you did a decent job, I guess, whatever. I probably won't end up doing custom weapons. It's just, it's just la vida. Frick. Drop your pieces. What's better? What's better? The pilots or season seven or season eight? Uh, season eight and up is better than the pilots or season seven. That is the opinion of mine. You cannot change my opinion. Right. Well, maybe you can actually. Try to persuade me. I dare you. I dare you. Oh, they're hairs. Bro, like I care, dude. I honestly don't care at this point when it comes to like their designs. I like all of their designs, okay? I just do not care. Day of the party felt boring to me. Most of the battles didn't interest me except Lloyd's and Cole's. I did like Kai's and Nia's parents foreshadowing. It is just... It just had so much potential with old villains returning. I really do think it had so much potential with old villains returning. And I feel like they kind of just dropped the ball with it. I don't know. 
What are your thoughts on the Island Ninja suit? Dude, the Island Ninja suits are probably one of the best ninja suits we've had in a while. Just saying. Just saying. They're pretty dope, is what I'm trying to say. All right, I got this now. Finally, we got the sales. We can open up the sales. Ah! Uh, what the? Ah! Uh, my favorite island suit is Cole's. Um, uh, mine is Zane's because you could get a get you could get a good uh, look at his chest. You know, his get a little chest action. I mean, what what? <laughs> Why what? <laughs> I'm just gonna stop talking. <laughs> the chicken has telepotatoes power. That's how he gets around the da the dam. What? Oh, look! I'm done building the catamaran. Wow! Except it's inaccurate to the show because you can only fit one figure on it. SMH. SMH. Tommy did say something about a new Master of Wind in Twitter, but it seemed like he was guessing. Who knows? A new Master of Wind. Hmm. I mean, it's a possibility, because it'll then answer the question on what happens to, like, the elemental powers when an elemental master dies without, like, uh, like, without a continuation of the bloodline, I guess. So I am curious to see what route they go in terms of, like, a new elemental Master of Wind. I'm curious. I love Nia's island suit the most. I would agree. I mean, like I said, I like all of them. I almost want to say Lloyd's is my favorite. But I think they're all just really good, personally. I, I, I wouldn't be able to choose just one. I think as a collective suit group... They're all pretty damn good. But anyways. I stopped talking only because I can't find the piece. A moment of silence for pieces that cannot be found. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna flip the table. Oh, it's right here. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm just, I'm just brain dead at this point. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry tonight. Gonna set the world on fire with a lighter. I'm not sure if these are the lyrics to the song. I have not watched Godzilla vs. Kong, but I do want to watch it. I've been wanting to go to the movie theater for that, but it's not happening, bro. It's not happening. It's not happening, and I want to go watch it. It's not fair. Because it's, it's freaking... Screw watching it on whatever the count they want me to watch it on what is it uh on paramount plus not paramount plus what am i even chatting about bro what is it i don't even know cringe lord is back what is up fire fire ew that was cringe you guys should never let me do cringy stuff why why would you let me do this you guys are just hurting yourselves in the process as well. HBO Max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That thing. Paramount Plus. Wait. Bro. There's just too many streaming services at this point. It's like, um, stop. Stop. Let me go watch it in theaters. And I will. I'll try. I want to go to the theater. I want to watch it in theaters. Theaters is the only way to watch movies. <laughs> I am the cringe lord. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I, I think I got it the first time. Or maybe I didn't. I don't know. I wish they remade, remade the Devour in Legacy. Yo, dude, imagine the great Devour Legacy set. The day that happens, I will kiss Lego. I will legit go to their company, like their offices, and I will kiss the building. Okay? Mark my words. <laughs> 
No, no, don't actually mark my words. <laughs> no. I can't say stuff like that, because then I have to do it when it happens. Frick. Whatever, fine. If it happens, I'll kiss, I'll go to freaking. I'll kiss the ground or something. I'll do something. Watch that be like a thing next year. Watch like Lego release, like the Great Devourer next year. I'm gonna cry. Uh, that three dope. The three. I'm confused now. Yo, the catamaran for the villains though is kind of kind of good looking. Yo, I'm I'm down to buy a second catamaran set only because there was two catamarans in freaking the show. Gosh darn it. Just kiss the Lego set instead. I mean, I could kiss the Lego set, but I usually kiss the box anyways, and I actually forgot to kiss the box. Ready, 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 ready. Oh, that was a nice long kiss too. <laughs> Two words, Skylar Legacy. Honestly, that also needs to happen. Where's my Skylar Legacy? It's not happening, bro. But I will need it to happen. Not gonna lie, that's my favorite Ninjago Season 14 set. I love the design and the colors. Oh, this one? I agree. Well, I don't agree that it's my favorite, but I agree with the colors. It's got nice colors, it's got cool pieces. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Look, the point is, a lot of legacy sets I wish could happen, but I or like figures as well, but they're just not gonna happen. I feel like. Hi, Taco. Love your videos. Hey, why? Thank you. Thank you. I love you. <laughs> oh gosh, things that will get taken out of context and used against me. It's all good. It's all good. I will die defending myself. Even though I don't really need to. Is that be like the movie full nuts? Wait, what? Why in the video of you that Lego posted, they made it look like they got the monastery for you? Um, uh, I don't know why they wanted to make it look like that. I'm going to be honest. I kind of just went with it, bro. I'm, I was like, oh, I get to build the monastery set soon. That's pretty dope. I'm kind of excited. So, I mean, I didn't really question it or anything. I could have just went with, went with it. So, I don't know. It was cool then, though. It was cool. I had to... What sucked is that I, I... Dude, I tried my hardest to pretend like I didn't know what it was. Because at that time, you guys know how, like, leaks are a thing? I already knew that set existed. I had to look surprised. <laughs> I had to pretend I looked surprised, dude. I feel bad. I, to this day, I feel bad. Because I, like, I knew what it was. Before I even opened it. And they didn't tell me what it was. Because I, I, I know they wanted like a genuine reaction from me. And I tried giving them the most genuine reaction I could. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, what are we talking about? Titan, what do you think about the 10 year anniversary Golden Ninjas? I think they're pretty stellar, dude. They're pretty dope. I'm not gonna lie. I like them. Except I, I kind of wish they were uniform. You know, like, I, yeah, I do kind of wish they were uniform instead of versus, like, each unique, kind of. But at the same time, I know people wouldn't like that, so, I don't know. That's just personally me. I would have definitely preferred them all to be uniform, but at the same time, it's kind of cool to see, like, unique suits for everyone, so. Taco, now, nowadays we find leaks of minifigs on eBay, but back in the day, the day of the departed sets were revealed on a door. No, yeah, because they, they were revealed in um, the, uh, whatchamacallit, the Toy Fair stuff. Like, all that stuff would be, would be um, revealed in Toy Fair, so, yeah. Do I like season 14? Yeah, I do like it. It's, it's a pretty mid-season. Also, can we not do spoilers? Because you got... When you do spoilers like that, you have to assume that people, like, have watched the freaking season. I mean, I personally, like, for me, spoilers have been a thing. I've already been spoiled a couple things. I honestly don't care. I still, I still haven't watched the episode, so I still give, like, a genuine reaction when I react to them. But there are, like, pictures that get shared around 
But like honestly, I I that's just don't. No spoilers. Come on, guys. Cause not everyone has social media. Not everyone's on Twitter. Yeah. Hey dude, love your content. Keep it up. Thank you. Lego right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. All right. So this set is turning out. What about the keepers of the amulet? Like, what do I think about the keepers of the amulet? Why does this happen? No, oh, I forgot to actually build one of the keepers right now. Oops. Oh, for a second, I, I, I don't like it when I can't find pieces. What is this trash, dude? I hate it. Uh, I love how Kai has an expensive boat while Zane has a low-key flag surfboard thing. Honestly, Zane should have been the one. He should have been the one that had the big boat. I don't know why it has to be Kai all the time. Kai doesn't even freaking like water. Do you like Chima? I do not. But I will be reacting to it for you guys for the first time ever in the history of my life. Because <laughs> I don't think I've, I think I've only ever watched a single Chima episode. But that's about it. Who will win in a fight, Overlord or Omega? I'm gonna have to say the Overlord because the Overlord apparently can't die. So, but then again, that doesn't mean necessarily that the Overlord is a better fighter per se, but I guess I would have my money on the Overlord. Unless Omega is like one of the only creatures that can slay the Overlord, because technically the Overlord is like an evil dragon, and like Oni and Dragon are kind of like enemies, but then again, is the Overlord an Oni or a dragon, or is he really just a manifestation of the freaking first Pinjutsu Master? I don't know. There's a lot of lore to explore there, but at the same time... I don't know. Who cares? Overlord Ganks. Taco supporting Kai abuse. I... <laughs> How am I supporting Kai abuse now? What is this nonsense? Y'all are putting words in my mouth now. I'm guessing they're gonna do the... Do most of the future ninja in minifigure form, but please, when they do, I really hope it with an older looking face print unlike me. Hopefully so, because I swear if they just give us the short end of the stick with this, the future ninjas, I'm gonna cry. And then on top of that, I also want them to have the same arm amount of printing that the J1 did. So they got the arm printing and then the leg printing. So it has to have that. Like for me, these kind of suits have to be uniform in my opinion. And I feel like they already ruined that with the golden suits because Zane's just or is already like is already has a bunch of flaws, and it's uh, not good. I got to go. Hey, no worries, no worries. Thank you for joining the stream. Ninja, the Omega is the main villain, and plus darkness. Uh, who said the uh, Omega is the main villain? There, no, he's he's not the main villain. There's, there literally is no main villain. If you want to give Ninjago, like the land of Ninjago, a main villain, that main villain is going to be the Overlord. There's like. Well, yeah, cause, yeah, cause the Overlord was basically there around since like time. Well, yeah, I guess the Oni were also around like around that time, but like the Overlord is just like Ninjago's main villain. The Oni is more like of a plague, I guess. I don't know, a multi-realm plague. I guess I don't know what to think. I guess I don't know. Uh, okay. Let's continue on. Dang it, it's been a long time since I saw you look different from five months ago. Do I really? Well, I mean, I guess so, yeah, because I had long hair five months ago, so that has changed indeed. <laughs> I used to have long hair, now it's gone. Kind of sad, but kind of happy at the same time. I don't know. What do you guys prefer, my long hair or my short hair? I'm curious to know. I'm not gonna change it. I'm gonna keep having short hair, but I'm just curious. Snip, snip, what? Oh, snip, snip, okay, I get it. For a second, I was like, what are you talking about? Lols, your hair now is lit. Ah, thank you, thank you. Long, oh, someone prefers it long. Interesting, long, oh my gosh. Is there a Ninjago character you think you can 
beat in a fight Dareth. Dareth is probably the only one I can beat in a fight. Not even that, dude. Probably Dareth could still beat me, honestly. I'm a weakling. I'm weak. Oh, yes, we get to build my favorite character. Ah, 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 ah. I'm gonna have an afro in the future wife. <laughs> you guys are funny. Alright. Long hair looks cool, but your short hair looks lit. Nice. Thank you guys. Thank you. I really appreciate your guys' compliments. <laughs> But yeah, um, yeah, short hair is probably the way to go from now on, honestly. Anyways, here's my favorite figure right here. The sexy beast that Zane is. Boom! Let's continue on. We're almost done? No, I still have two bags after this. I mean, that's almost, right? That kind of counts as almost. Oop. Anyways. I love the island. Dude, the island figures are just so good. I feel though like the for the islanders, the purple could have been more purple, I guess. Because they're really like marbly in the show. So I feel like I wish they kind of did, did their did them more purple, I guess. I have the poverty version of Zane, according to my mom. Well, that she calls it that because it looks like crap. Wait, what? Which Zane are you talking about, bro? I'm sorry, Ninjago, but they really lacked off on the season 13. They kind of did. I'm not going to lie. They kind of did. They kind of just added a bunch of armor on them. But at the same time, it's like... I mean, I don't know. On half the ninja, they did kind of just put armor on them. But on the other half, they actually kind of gave them like full-on new suits. The Zane from season two. Dude, what do you mean? That Zane is freaking amazing. Like, I wouldn't say one of the best Zanes, but definitely a good Zane. Like, nice and simple. They are very detailed in the show, but it sucks in the Lego. Honestly, yeah. Dude, the show really goes above and beyond with the detail in the suits. Like, I don't even know how to do it, bro. But like, wow. It's really great. And once again, I can't... Oh, Season 13 or season 9? Season 13, bro. I think... I literally just had a whole discussion about, like, things... How do you define things that are overrated? And I'm literally about to say that I think season 9 is overrated. <laughs> I'm such a hypocrite, bro. Uh, I'm not going to say that then. I think... Uh, I'm going to say season 13, honestly. I think I do like season 13 more than season 9. What's better, Human Zane or Robot Zane? I, I kind of like Robot Zane. I'm not going to lie. As much as I like Human Zane, I do think I like my boy as his titanium form. Yeah. Are there any minifigures that you hope to replace one day because of bad conditions or something? Yeah, I think I have some figures that are like in pretty bad shape now. I think one of them might be the... Now, I know, I know there's some. I, I'll have to look. I have to look at my collection. I feel like one of my Garmin figures needs to be replaced. But uh, yeah, I think even. I know there's some characters that I have that I want to replace soon, but I don't remember which characters. I'm planning on making a young Garmin. Hey, good luck with that, because I know it's very possible now. Or like it's always been possible to make a young Garmin. On. But now, Wu is like the most possible like figure you could pos potentially make now again. Like, the possibilities are now not endless, but like with the inclusion of Lloyd's hairpiece, the young Lloyd hairpiece now in the Ninjago City Gardens, it just opened up a plethora of doors that could just like, like custom minifigures that you could make. And I'm really excited. Frick! Oh God, that would have not been good. The new designs of the Golden Weapons from Season 10, or the original. Definitely the originals for me. I don't like, I, I swear to freaking gosh, dude. I do not like Cole's Side of Quakes. I feel like they butchered the Side of Quakes. Like, I just don't understand what they were thinking. 
How much do you have to clean that Lego from dust right on your shelf? Dude, I have a lot, dude. That's a lot to dust. I haven't dusted in like over a month, so dust has definitely been piling on. And that's not a good thing. Because sometimes the dust does like to stick around. So, do I have school? I do have school. I am a school boy. Kind of wish I didn't though, but, you know. It is what it is. It is what it is. I do have school though. Not today though. Obviously not today. It's a Sunday. But then again, I could have school on a Sunday. That's very possible. Um, I would be City Gardens, but I'm Bricks Boy. Shout out to all the... Oh, you're a broke boy. Oh, no. Well, I mean, maybe someday on this channel, maybe someday, I may do a giveaway. That is a lot of money, though. I do want to give away that set, but it's not, not going to happen anytime soon. But for one special viewer, it will happen someday. But today is not that day. I think they just did not have the budget to make molds uh, for all the golden ones. No, I mean, I, not, I don't want molds. I don't, I'm not necessarily saying they need to make molds for every single golden weapon. But the fact that just the way they build cold golden weapon is just, it triggers me. I don't know why. I just don't like the way they built it. Literally just get a, a shaft piece and then get a lightsaber hilt piece and then the, the blade piece that you guys, like I don't like the combination of the dragon hilt and then the lightsaber piece. I just, ugh. I don't know. Lego really did drop the ball on that one, I think. I hate when Clutch Powers was trying to steal the Keeper's Amulet. I mean, Clutch Power just being Clutch Powers. And I know, like, for some of you, like, that's not Clutch Powers. Well, get used to it, because that is the Clutch Powers in the show. And, like, that is the Clutch Powers that is staying. They're not going to change his character. Uh, I hate when, uh, what's better, Season 11 Ice Dragon or Season 13? I kind of, I don't know. That's actually kind of hard, because I think they're both pretty on par. Uh, remember the Q&A from like three months ago when you, when will you do it? I thought I already made a Q&A. Do you guys actually want another Q&A live stream? I mean, if you guys want a Q&A live stream, I, I'll, I guess I'll do it, but I'll do it eventually, but I'm, I'm actually curious. Do you guys actually want a Q&A live stream? I'm curious now. I'm a bit curious now. Eek. What are we looking at? How long have I been streaming for? I can't tell. Wait, where did the chat go? Oh, it's right here. I mean, it depends. Do you like our questions we ask? Yeah, I, I mean, I don't mind the questions. But I feel like... I feel like you guys already ask enough questions on like the live streams I already make. Like I don't see the point of a dedicated Q. &A. Well, I mean, I guess I, I guess I could see why a dedicated Q and A makes sense. I don't know. No, I told you us to enter our Q and A's, and you will do the A's in normal video. You know, honestly, I don't remember how. I I, I don't remember. But um, maybe maybe someday. Maybe once I reach 10k, you know, we got enough viewers. We got new viewers, you know. We could do a Q&A live stream in honor of 10k. There's a hair on my set. Me, I can't believe they actually made the stone armor suits that appeared for one episode. Um, uh, yeah, actually, I'm kind of happy they did that. Not gonna lie though. We definitely needed that, or else I would have been a whiny baby and like, oh, Lego didn't do the stupid stone armor and the figures. Oh, no. No. Lego making gold suits that appear for seconds. Yo, but... <laughs> they, they, they still gotta make the suits, honestly. I'm, I'm not gonna let that not happen, bro. It's gonna happen. I have Cole's golden legacy suit. 
That's a pretty cool suit. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie, it is a pretty cool suit. Yo, this is kind of confusing. Dude. What the heck? It shouldn't be confusing me as much as it is right now. But it is. It is. Oh, we connect that there. And then we put this here. Yo, this sits actually pretty dope. What the heck? I mean, I, I had my doubts at the start. But now, actually, like, building it more and more. I'm starting to see that I'm, I'm, I'm starting to like it more. Will I react to Ninjago shorts? Are there Ninjago? Oh, the Ninjago shorts. The legacy. Or not the legacy, but the anniversary shorts. Yeah, I'll react to those. I will most definitely be reacting to those. I'm actually really excited to see them all as well. I'm so excited to see some shorts. I'm really excited for the Hands of Time one, dude. That one's got me the most excited. Like, oh my gosh. I, I, you guys have no idea. All right, I'm gonna go study for exams. Hey, no worries. Lego making a Lego Dr. Julian minifigure that was seen for more than half a season. No, Lego making ninja suits that appeared for less than half. Yes, I mean, let's be honest though, let's be honest. What's more marketable? It has, like, in Lego's eyes, it has to be marketable. Like, they have to be able to market that figure. And let's be honest, a Dr. Julian figure is just not gonna cut it for Lego. It really just isn't. As much as I want them to make it, and I hope they do eventually make it, it's just not, it's, Lego's not gonna be like, oh, let's put Dr. Julian in this battle pack where Zane, where the Golden Zane is. I mean, it could work, but at the same time, it's like, it just, it just doesn't work, you know? It just don't work like that, my friend. Lego making, oh wait, I already read that. What? I hate General Vex, I hate, what he did to Zane, it's his fault that Zane turned into the Ice Emperor, making him use the Forbidden Scroll, corrupt Ice, stupid General Vex. I agree. I agree. Stupid General Vex. The, the only make one suit for each season and the trash from them next season. What? Trash. Crash Bandicoot? Question mark? Never played that game. Has anyone played that game? Crash Bandicoot? Actually, no, not, not that I mentioned that. I may, might have played it once. But I don't remember when. So, that helps out a lot. I'm back. Oh, well, we'll come back. We'll come back. So, apparently, that doesn't go there. Nice. Alright. Boom. Crack lack. What's your favorite Ninjago villain? Probably Garmadon. It's probably Garmin on. Most likely Garmin on. Most definitely Garmin on, probably. Without a doubt, Garmin on. Probably. I mean, yeah, most likely Garmin on. I'd have to say Garmin on. Garmin on. We like Garmin on. Sorry I'm late. Hey, no worries. You guys... Again, you guys don't have to apologize for being late. Never apologize for being late. Ever. Or else I will set the world on fire with a lighter. Uh, I can't sing. Alright, I completely missed the piece. Where does this piece go? Good Garmin on or evil? I honestly prefer the Garmin on. Give me back good Garmin on. I love good Garmin on. He's such a guy. He's such a, he's such a G. Do I want Garmin on back? Of course I want Garmin on back, bro. Why would I not want Garmin? Oh snap, we're building the Mamatus. Mamatus. The Poppers. It's kind of hot. Why is it so hot? I should be in bed right now because I have a test, but I don't care. I miss lots of streams. I'm not missing this one. Ah, oh, yeah. I really wish you could go, go get some rest. But I mean, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. I appreciate your presence. 
I appreciate all you guys' presence. Because honestly, I wouldn't be streaming if none of you were here. So, I mean, that just makes sense, right? What's the point of streaming if there's no one to stream to? Gas. Blasphemy. No, oh, I was going to say, where's his head, though? There's his head. Yo, dude, I'm telling you, this helmet piece is so sick. Hecka sick, bro. Where are his freaking horns? Oh, it's because they're white horns. Damn, bro. I don't know, dude. I still don't think they're white in the show. Can someone confirm Mamedes' horns on his freaking helmet? What color are they? Someone tell me. Someone tell me they're dark tan. I don't, I'm not the only one who thinks they're dark tan, right? I can't be. What do you, what do you rat think, what my, my headpiece, at, what rate, rate? Uh, out of five shurikens, I'd give it four shurikens. I'd give it four shurikens. Uh, I was always upset that season seven never explained how Chen knew that because of that drop concept i mean yeah i mean that is true how the heck did chen know he probably had like people undercover or something season 16 lloyd leaked on instagram he has a ripped shirt and a new mask take that this with a grain of salt just looks <laughs> what what are you even on about bro oh my gosh the things that are on the internet these days. Uh, there might be season 16 in summer because season... No, there's most definitely not going to be a season 16 this year. 100% guaranteed no. Absolutely not. Will you make a Ninjago livestream game part 4? I will, I will, I will. I will. That game is not complete. I plan on completing the game. It's just, that game is more like a, I'm doing that kind of a weekly. I'm pretty much doing that weekly, I realize. So I'm going to stick to that schedule, that weekly schedule. And uh, no sooner, no later, it'll be weekly. Only two, because like I, I got a bunch of other stuff to do as well. For instance, I could have streamed the game today, but I decided not to, and I decided to make a live stream build, because I felt like that was more important, because I didn't finish all the builds, and I might as well finish it. I was actually surprised that season 15 came out this quick. I'm also surprised it came out this quick. For not being able to join the last two gameplay streams. Well, I think you streamed it late. I don't know. No, no, no worries. No worries. You guys, again, don't have to apologize for not joining the streams. Point, um, actually, I might. No, nah, nah, I won't say that, actually. I'm going to keep that a secret. Just keep it a secret. Uh, I think your reactions come tomorrow. Uh, my reactions come when they come, bro. They come when they come, coming, coming, coming. Animations take more time than you think. I don't think so. My guys over at freaking wild, not wild, yeah, wild brain be like zooming past these animations. Dude. My favorite ninja is Zane, you know. Hey, that's cool. That's cool. Mine, mine is two. My favorite ninja is also saying. You should actually react to Ninjago Shorts episode. They are very funny. Wait, what shorts? What shorts are we talking about now? Because I can't react to something I've already watched. It's not really a reaction. Uh, Gotta go by even though nobody can. Hey, no, 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 no. Come on. Come on. We care. I care. But have fun. Have fun with what you are doing later or now. I'll see you next stream or next video. Anyways, anybody has to go, you good. You got you go go do your thing. <laughs> go do you. You do you, and I'll do me, which is me is me. Anyways, 
Uh, do I ship Lorumi? I ship Lorumi when they're not trying to kill each other. <laughs> when, yeah, when Harumi wasn't trying to kill Lloyd. I thought that was a pretty cute relationship. Until... Yeah, until, you know. Sorry, Taco, that we can't watch the live stream totally, because if I do, I will fail my... Hey, no, 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 no worries. If you gotta go, you gotta go. I 100% completely understand, and I'd rather you not fail your tests, so... Go do what you gotta do. Please, please. I beg of you. Do what you gotta do. I'd rather you fa not fail... No, I'd rather, I'd rather you succeed in your tests as opposed to freaking failing. Okay, I'll have fun study. Hey, I will have fun study. Oh no, you get why does ugh, I feel bad now? Everyone's got an uh, an exam to study for. Bruh, what's your favorite season fourteen set? The Jungle Chopper. I gotta be focused for this part. Yo, that sticker application was actually really great. I'm a master now. Gosh, I hate stickers though. I don't like stickers. They're so hard to apply, especially like the angled ones, dude, like this one right here. God, I hate them. Uh, boom, ba boom, a uh, ba ba boom. Are live streams hard to make? Live streams aren't hard to make. I think what's hard about live stream is keeping the energy to like continue live streaming. If that makes sense. Like continue to be like what's hard about live streams is like continuing to be entertaining, I guess, for like long periods of time. And uh, I will admit to you guys, I'm kind of struggling right now with that. I'm kind of struggling right now. Hi, ya. I'm surprised they didn't do a trailer and they released the episodes. Well, I mean, it wasn't really Lego's decision per se. The kind of the episodes kind of just released. Lego didn't plan for the episodes to release this soon, so that's kind of why we're all caught off off guard. Because the episodes probably weren't supposed to release this early, but they are. What seasons do you like more, ten or fourteen? Definitely fourteen, dude. Definitely 14. Screw. Well, not screw season 10, but like. Definitely 14. Definitely like 14 more. Anyways. Okay, we got that part going for us. And now we got. Oh, I just realized we got one more bag after this. And I'm starting to get really hot. It's like really hot in here. I don't know why. It's hot in my room. Can it stop being hot? Two seconds. By the way, everyone didn't expect season 15 at all. Yeah, we need a taco and gen genetic studs collab. I mean, if you guys want to start, I mean. All right. What would you guys want us to collab in? If you guys want a collab, I'll, I'll, get, in I'll, I'll get in contact with them. But like, what kind of collab are you guys thinking? What do you want us to collab on? What would you be interested in? I mean, I could have him as a guest for like, cause I realize I'm, I don't know how the multiplayer on Steam works for the Lego Ninjago movie video game works, but I could have him on for that, a stream. I could figure out a time, a date, or I could, I don't know. Like, what kind of, I, I guess, yeah, I'll just ask you guys. What, what do you want? Hmm. Sets maybe? Like, what do you mean sets? What do you mean by sets? I'm curious. I, uh, ba, ba. Is this set easy to build? Uh, I think it's fairly okay, I guess. It's not too complicated. Not too complicated at all. Do you have Minecraft? I do have Minecraft, I guess. I do, yeah, I guess I do. I got Minecraft. Just say, oh, Minecraft, or I have Minecraft. 
I do indeed have Minecraft. I don't know why I'm saying it multiple times, but yes, I have Minecraft. Let's go. Wait, what? Let's go to what? All right, sticker application mode on. Boom. Done. Well, I'm not done, but you get you get what I'm saying. Like get G. Thank you, thank you. Gosh, I freaking hate stickers. Ah, Titanium Taco is the Minecraft in is in the Minecraft clan. What? Wait, what? I am. I guess I'm in the Minecraft clan. Is that a good thing or is that a bad thing? I wouldn't know. Do you like Pokemon or Ninjago better? I like Ninjago better. Yes, yes, I know, I know. I do. I like Ninjago better, okay? How much was this set? I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I don't remember. I don't remember how much this set was. I'm not gonna lie. So I'm not even gonna like pretend like I know and tell you that I know. I just, I legitimately don't know how much this set was. So I'm not gonna tell you how much it was because I don't remember how much it was. I also build Kai in Minecraft. Hey, that's cool. 60 euro? Sounds about right, I don't know. Like I said, I am not aware of how much the set is at all. Yo, what the heck, this is kind of confusing. I'm getting confused right now. Golden Woo's torso head and beard are ba are in bricks and pieces and that is the only exclusive pieces about him. Yeah, unfortunately the light prints aren't on bricks and pieces, which kind of sucks because I'm just like, why would you not like release the light prints as well? Like, bro, like just, just do the light prints as well, my guys. Also, what's up, Taco? How's it going? Uh, it's going all right. What's up with you? Are you going? Oh my God. The next Ninjago set is, um, I can't even read that number. That number is too big for me to even read. How old do you feel when others wasn't real and see, wait, what? Just watched English one and two. It's pretty fire lore wise. Not gonna lie. Interesting lore wise, you say. That is very interesting. Togo, what do you think is the best season for you? Uh, season three, obviously. Or the best, I guess season eight, season three, season eight. One of those, one of the seasons that exists out in the world, Ninjago, I guess. The best season actually is the one that's not being told yet, I think. If that makes sense, that doesn't make sense at all. What am I even saying anymore? <laughs> it's literally on fire. What's on fire? My brain's on fire right now. Yes, I agree. Oh my gosh, this set is actually bigger than I thought as well. What is this? Do you ever meet a fan in public? Um, no, actually, I have not. All right, final bag and then I could go on to record videos videos, videos. wow and wow indeed oh gosh that was kind of scary pog pog yes Taco actually lives in my road wait what I do wait what the actually what I'm confused now confusion times 10 Yes, please tell me you've seen me. I have. Well, I mean, I'm confused. If, if you live in, what? I'm actually genuinely confused right now. Um, What am I building? What am I doing? What am I doing? All right. So, okay, so I'm building these little side builds now. I'm almost there. I'm almost done. What country, Taco? The good old U.S. of A. I live in the U.S. of A. 
I'm your neighbor. Nah, see, that's where I know you're lying now. That's where I know you're lying. There's no way you're my neighbor. Wait, what side is this one going on? I'm very peculiar on, like, the orientation of parts. Okay. Uh, this wave of Ninjago sets has been really popular in the Lego store. It's crazy how popular the show still is. Ten years later, it's definitely top five themes in the store. I would agree with you. That statement is pretty much almost true. Because obviously people will disagree. I'm in the UK. Okay, okay. The UK is pretty cool. I will say though, yeah, the UK is actually pretty cool. No, we're, we're near. We're near? What? I know you're in the USA. Wow. Are you a, a stalker then? I often ask customers their favorite character and it's Lloyd 95% of the time. Fair enough, fair enough. Lloyd is a pretty popular character, although let's be honest, the favorite should obviously be Zane, in my humble opinion. Should always be Zane. Nothing but Zane. Uh, studs now, we're looking for studs. Some people say that Zane has a 90% favorites. I wonder why, though. What do you mean you wonder why? What, what are you wondering about? Zane, of course Zane's going to have a 90%. Zane should have a 100%. What are you talking about, bro? What? What is this nonsense? What do you mean you wonder why? Do I have DXJ? I think I do have DXJ. The one J I don't have is the Energy J. And Oh, wait, no. DX are the Dragon Suits. No, I don't have DXJ. What am I saying? Oh my gosh, I actually do want that figure so bad too. Frick, you have made me realize that I I don't have a DX kit. Why would you do this to me? I don't have him and I want him. How has this build been so far? It looks really cool actually out of the box like this. Honestly, the build so far has been really dope. I'm actually quite happy with how it's been, like how it's turned out. And I definitely recommend picking it up if you have the chance to pick it up. Because I think it's actually pretty dope. If I do change show my channel. If I do change show my channel. Yes, it is. His looks or powers are all of the above. Dude, it's all of the above, my guy. All of the above. 100%. There's no doubt in my mind that it's not all of the above. Shout out to all the homies with Energy J. Wish I had him. Honestly, same. I really do. Energy J and DX Zane. I'm not DX Zane, DX J. Those are figures I really, really want and I probably will never, never have. It sucks. Because they're so freaking expensive now. Why must figures be expensive? Can they go back to cheap? I want cheap, not expensive. Green or white? Uh, I white i guess i want him to so we are both in pain yes let us be in pain together let us all be in pain let us all rejoice for those who don't have energy j or dxj let us all come together and collectively cry in the corner i wonder why in the lego figures of kai he has a bandage beats me you gotta ask the lego designers for that one chief I wouldn't know. I wouldn't be able to give you that answer. Maybe Kai's permanently scarred. Question mark? Whoa, the chat's popping off. How long have you been streaming? I have to know, please, so I can rest enough to get an A. I actually have no idea how long I've been streaming for. I can't tell. I can't see. <laughs> yeah, I can't see how long I've been streaming for. Someone in the chat, how long have I been streaming for? Help me out. I put my friend's cat to pick who is the kid's favorite character, and she picked A. See, I'm telling you, bro. Zane's just attractive. Attractive to all sorts of animals. I have all the DX, except I think I lost Kai's when I was a kid, not gonna lie. No! 
Kai's another one of those expensive ones too. I feel like Zane's and Cole's are like the least expensive ones. Which is interesting to like think about. Like there's the I feel like that's the case, I think. Anyways. Epic probably Kai has bandage because he's really spontaneous and makes mistakes sometimes. I could see that being the explanation. Definitely, 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 definitely. That's not the piece that goes there. Hi ya. Um uh, gosh darn I don't know why. Why is it so hard to find pieces sometimes? What's my favorite Pokemon? Dude, don't even I'm I'm not gonna even answer that question because I have absolutely no idea. Actually, no, I do have an idea. What am I saying? It's Pokemon X, Y, and Z, obviously. Best season of Pokemon, by far. For saying I was like, dude, I'm not gonna know that answer, but I, I guess I do know the answer to that question. Whoopsies, never mind. Anyone notice why Kai has a scar on his eye? Mm, no, I don't. I mean, I know he's got a scar, I just don't know why he's got a scar. Oh, we got a barrel. We got a barrel. We got a barrel. We got a, a diamond in each barrel. I'm not going to do that, bro. Screw that. Keep me those diamonds for myself, yo. Those diamonds are mine. Oh, it's only two. Boom. Put the barrel in there. The barrel. And then we put the piece right here. Bada beam, bada boom. He's had the scar before being a ninja, so probably in a blacksmith's mish mishap. Probably. But in this show, he's never had the scar pilots up until season 7. So he recently got the scar in season 8. Alright, we attach this now onto this build. Oh, wait. This is folded inwards. Interesting. Look at that. This is a sexy catamaran, bro. Nothing but bangers. Tommy already said Kai has a bandage because he thinks it's cool. Caps, so... Oh, okay. See, that makes sense. If Kai thinks it's cool, if, it make, if he thinks it makes him look cool, I think that's a very Kai thing to do, in my opinion. Like, Kai, Kai's the type of person who's like, yes, I wear bandages because they make me look cool. I definitely think that's a Kai thing. Oh God, that scared me. Freaking Red Warrior be messaging me, bro. My guy. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Ty Ty. That scared the heck out of me, dude. I don't know why. It shouldn't have scared me that much. Um. Anyways. Uh. To be honest, season three, Kai's fire jet, something. I'm here now. What is up, Red Warrior? Dude, you freaking gave me a heart attack with your message. Like, my phone vibrated, and I was like, what the frick? Man, my guys be trying to scare me. I'm, yeah, I, I, that was kind of scary, bro. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to lie. Do you play League of Legends? I don't play. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> bro, I feel like we've, oh my God. For a second, I only read the I only read the question, but now I I've, now I've read the name. No, I don't play League of Legends. You should know this already. I totally forgot. I I've been meaning to say I got Ninjago City Gardens with my schedule. It took me two weeks to build. I absolutely adore it. Best set ever built. I messed up. Honestly though, I'm glad you got the set. I'm really happy you got the set. I'm really happy you enjoyed building the set. Uh, it's definitely a beauty. I have it in the corner of my room where I could see it only where only I could see it. I could I could be streaming I could look to my left and boom. It's right there. It's honestly a really beautiful set I couldn't have asked for a better set. Well, maybe I could have maybe Borg Industries, but honestly, I think what we got for the 10-year anniversary is still Super duper good. I freaking love it Also got him you got to play. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not gonna League of what well, let me ask you this then. Cause there's one there's there's one word I like to hear when people want me to get games, right? If the game is free, 
I'm more inclined to get the game. If the game is not free, I'm less inclined to get the game. Because, I mean, I don't, I don't like buying games if I know I'm not going to play them that often. So, for the most part, most of the games I have are free. League is free. Oh, my. This man's really trying to get me to play League now. You got what? What's the worst brick league experience you've had? My worst, the worst brick league experience I've had was probably just a seller not giving me the correct torso part I order. But honestly, most of the sellers I've talked to are pretty good in terms of like communication. So I haven't had a too bad of an experience with Bricklink, but I feel like. I, there, there definitely is going to be one day where it's just going to be like, well, damn, that was trash. I don't recommend the seller. But I've had pretty good experiences with most of the Bricklink sellers I bought from. Can you say hi, Dynamite? Well, I just did. I'm so late. No, you're going to stop streaming. I am going to stop streaming soon. That is true. <laughs> I am stopping soon. If I could find parts, that is. Because finding parts are, is hard. So we put that there. I think, no, nope. I feel like there's a piece that goes there. There is indeed a piece that goes there. Uh, as Fury is, is a, like the worst villain they fought, she can't even get her own fire and she needs servants to break her a door. Why can't she do it with her trusty dusty? I don't know. Place Jane the show. Oh, this the oh, this is like the the thing that Jay gets sacrificed on. That's just true. Yo, what am I doing? What did I do wrong here? What? Oh, that's because that goes there. Oops. You're the best Ninjago YouTuber. Am I really though? Am I really? Thank you though. If that's what you think, thank you. I greatly appreciate your opinion. But I don't. I wouldn't say I'm the best Ninjago YouTuber. I feel like saying the best is quite a stretch. The gift that imagine a future plot of Jay's mother being the one who killed. What and Jay has to face her and the, oh my gosh, that's a pretty gruesome, future plot. But I mean, I would be interested in seeing that. I guess. I'm interested to see a lot of things in Ninjago, but whether or not they come to fruition is a completely different thing are you close to done i really don't want to get killed wait get killed what do you mean yes i'm i'm actually almost done i'm pretty much almost this is the last bag ninja you hear me what we get to wait lloyd garmadon wait what powers what are you lloyd lloyd what are you what you doing here lloyd you have to be kidding me kai what is you talking about bros are you reciting from the frick? Are you reciting from the um the set the season? Did you watch Avatar: The Last Airbender? I watched the series. Yes, I did watch the series. It's pretty, it's a pretty dope series. Almost kind of wanted to react to it, but I kind of just binge watched it. My internet just died. Ignore the last message. Am I gonna? Am I going to ignore the last message though? Probably. Probably. I probably. Uh. That is how Asphira gets defeated. Set rocks and make her trip and fall. I mean, I guess. I'm not sure if that really was how Asphira got defeated, but okay. I have my fingers crossed about Jay getting an eye patch in this season. He did have it in the future vision, and they acknowledged future Nia recently, and Tommy says to still be worried for Jay. I honestly, I really hope that that's also the case i do like jay's eye patch and i kind of wish that jay's eye patch was more of a permanent thing now like going into the future of ninjago because I, I don't know i kind of just it adds more not character but it adds more variety in design like ninjago used to have pretty good unique character designs until they decided to make cole human again and they kind of just went back to like you got one robot and five ninjas so I, and like Cole had his scar, so he kind of had that going for him, but then they also decided to get rid of that. So I feel like they got, they got to give something to a ninja or something. I feel like that would be pretty great just to make them look a little bit more different and unique. Like each ninja being more unique because Kai's got like the bandages, Lloyd's got the green eyes, 
kind uh, Cole could have had his scar and then Lloyd could have had not Lloyd Jay could have had have his eye patch so I'm just saying there's like a lot of, they could have done with like each character but a lot they're not doing should I make 1 million accounts so you can get 1 million subscribers I would advise against that <laughs> uh I definitely agree an eye patch is a great idea for a ton of re reasons. Yeah. I mean, but at the same time, I feel like Jay would have to lose his eye in order to, like, permanently have that eye patch. Other than, other than him thinking it's cool. But, yeah. All right. Guys, where's Pixel? I don't know. All right. The set is done. This is the Catamaran set. And, honestly, wait. I feel like this goes back. What's the purpose of... So, it looks like it's got a function to move back and forth. Oh, that's the function. Interesting. Yo, this set is actually pretty good. Woo! Going through the waves. Woo! Actually, I kind of like the set. Kind of like it. Don't worry, you guys can watch the replay of the um the stream. Do I like it like this or like that? Anyways. Wow, it's got the feature like in the show. We're too we're too wide. Uh Nia. I just shot one of the blasters. That was not my intention. Ah, uh, now I have to go find that. Frick. Now you can react. Now I can react. Alright, guys. That's that's it. I'm gonna go react now to some episodes you guys have been freaking been telling me to do. Imagine watching the replay. You know what? I know you don't watch the replay. And you know what? I'm gonna tell you something else. I've been trying to edit the streams down into a nice, small, compact 20, 30 minute video so that you could watch them. So best be watching those. And then not just for you, but like for a bunch of other people too. Cause I know people don't wanna watch our streams so i'm trying to edit them down to bite-sized videos so with that said that's all for today and i will see you all let me just get and i will i will see you all next time uh, bye bye